Oh, uh, Patty hit two big threes for us. I mean, always make make made shots are always good for momentum. Um, but I felt like we were generating good shots all game. It's just a matter of them falling. And they did in the fourth. You hit a three. I hit a three. Joe hit a three. Patty hit two of them. So I felt like, um, you know, the, the the energy of the game was uh, allowed us to, you know, uh, play the long game. It was in the fin in the, end up finishing in the fourth. So. We just play with good energy, you know, and when you put in good energy to the game, and it, 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 you reap what you sow, so it's a good win for us. Obviously, you'll always take a 40-point win like you had last night. Is there an intrinsic value to being on the road, back-to-back, -back, and down, and come from behind like this and grind one out? Is there a value in it? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you got to celebrate every win in the NBA and professional sports. It's hard to win. It's hard to um, get everybody on the same page. So. That's what we were the, the whole game. You know, we were on the same page. We were missing shots, but we didn't let that discourage us. We kept playing defense the whole game. I wish I had a stat sheet. I want to see what they shot from the field. <laughs> uh, but I think they shot under 40% from the field. Um, so that's always a good formula for us. I think we could have been, it could have been a bigger game for us, but they made three point shots over us. And, you know, I think that uh, that kept them in the game. But for the most part, we hit on, we hit, we boxed out. We, we kept our man in front and uh, we generated good shots on the other end. So, you know, they started to fall for us late in the game. Kevin, how come you guys have been able to go 2-0 without Kyrie and, and also uh, what do you think the Cavs have been? Um, I just think we rallied around each other. I mean, it was a tough week for us, and it's always good to just get back to the game, you know, and, and once the window. So uh, I think everybody was just waiting to just get back to playing. And, uh, and uh, you know, we also lost, you know, three or four games before that. So we just, you know, just felt some pride and wanted to come out here and get some W's. And, um, you know, so it's, it's good for our character, just good for the energy of the team to, to fight through adversity. And Cam came out, you know, just poised, you know, as a second-year player, able to control the game at the point. Uh, you know, made great plays, passing the ball, scoring the ball, got that huge steal for us, and put us up two with that drive, you know. So I think everybody played with a confidence in the fourth quarter that we need going forward. Kevin, how would you sum up the highs and lows of this specific week off everybody? Oh, it was a unique experience for sure, you know. Um, um, but, you know, a lot of guys been through different things in this league before, and a lot of guys been through some adversity in this league off the court, and having to lock back in and focus solely on the game. And I think that we all get, you know, uh, a little bit of solace in doing that and just playing a game of basketball, being that camaraderie, that fellowship with your teammates. I think that was able to get us through. And there's going to be more peaks and valleys throughout the season, but you know, we this is probably the, this is probably going to be the toughest thing we deal with as a, as a group. But you know, to to know that we can get through this and continue to stick together, I think that's important. You mentioned it yesterday, but have you ever experienced a week like this in all your time? I, mean, I had some weeks where I, we fired coaches before and guys got injured. And it was just tough, you know, tough week. But, you know, yeah, I've been through some tough weeks before. Uh, you know, I don't want to act like this is uh, some anomaly, you know. Um, you know is a chaotic league. It's, we're with each other every day. It's six months, seven months season. Something's going to happen. So it's really about how you bounce back, and I'm glad we was able to bounce back and get two wins. But we got to keep pushing and keep, keep building. That's the thing. Man, just, you know, first of all, he provides length, shoot and touch, you know, athleticism. But, um, He's in, always in the right spots. He's always just playing hard. You know, if, if we make a mistake, we're going to cover for each other. And he's making that second and third effort to be there. And, he, you know, he's shooting the ball with confidence right now. So he's able to help us play that small lineup when he can play the four and the five sometimes. And, uh, you know, so that brings another dimension to our team. So I'm excited for you, though. You know, he's been uh, grinding, you know, since he's been in the league, played with some great teams, played in Toronto. So they taught him a lot about winning basketball. So. It's good to have him here. I know you always like Cam's game, but just how far has he come? With, I mean, for him to play kind of clean, intelligent games. Yeah, he's always been a, a high IQ player. He's quiet, quiet, and don't show too much emotion. But 
Um, he's always been a high IQ player who watches the game, watches the greats, knows the history of the game. So he kind of try to implement some of that stuff into his game. And, um, it's just all about gaining experience. You know, you're going you're gonna to have your slip-ups, but the more and more you get reps in, the better you get. And he's going to need more reps, and, you know, and you'll see him getting better and better. So, um, But he's a natural talent, so he can come out there after sitting seven, eight games and just, you know, pick and just – transition smoothly so we're gonna need we're gonna need more from him going forward. I think he could do more and you know we put we got high expectations for him.